Whoa, that's sweet. Hello everyone, my name is Vin and I love orange juice. Do you know that orange juice is the most popular juice in the world and in the US? More than 90% of the orange juice was made from oranges grown in Florida. And even the Florida state chose orange as their symbol. So have you ever wondered why oranges become so popular today? And Today, I'm going to tell you about the origin of the oranges in Florida. Oranges started from Asia, cultivated for at least 7,000 years in India and in China since 2500 BCE and documented in China since 340 BCE. Sweet orange is a hybrid between pomelo and mandarin. Citrus fruits, among with them the bitter orange, were introduced to Sicily in the 9th century through the Silk Road. An international trade routes network existed from 130 BC to 1453 AD. Then the oranges was brought to America on the boat of Christopher Columbus in 1492. And shortly after, the Spaniard explorers brought orange seeds to Florida. And since then, the oranges have spread and grown around the world. Oranges are significant examples of globalization. Globalization is a term used to describe how trade and technology have made the world into a more connected and interdependent place. It also connects the economy and cultures around the world. Obviously, the popularity of oranges comes from the international trade from Asia to Europe, to America and now to every corner of the globe. Oranges are also inspirations in art throughout the cultures and time. Here are some examples of painting of oranges. This painting is called Oranges and Tangerines from Song Dynasty of China from 960 to 1279. This painting is called the Agnot Fini Portrait by Chen Van Eek in 1434. And this painting is still life with orange, painted by Pao Gagun in 1881. Before closing my topic, I want to mention an interesting fact. Oranges in Florida are orange compared to the oranges in other areas such as Mexico, Brazil, and Southeast Asia, which are green. As a subtropical fruit that grows in temperate climates, oranges turn orange. But for those that are grown in the tropics, their chlorophyll is preserved and they tend to remain green. That's why it makes a difference in colors of oranges around the world. So from the information above, we learned that orange, a really common fruit in our daily life, plays a significant role in our history. It's a result of globalization it's a result of how different cultures come together, mix together, and even class against each other. And finally, I want to thank you for watching my video. And I hope that you learned something new today and you find it helpful. Thank you and you have a good day.